Hi, I am Dr. Vidushi Sharma from Suvi Eye Institute, Kota, Rajasthan. And in this video, we discuss the pearls for the implantation of a Technus Toric IOL, which has recently been launched in the Indian market. This was the first case that we did at our hospital, where the Technus Toric IOL was implanted for a 39 year old patient who was having a posterior subcapsular cataract. So the first step is of course to do the marking in the toric IUL. The preoperative workup uh, goes without saying has to be extremely uh, careful and even though the manual keratometry remains the gold standard for measuring the corneal and the uh, astigmatism. In a busy OPD the auto refractor with an auto keratometer gives uh, quite reliable results and this combined with the topography can be used by a busy practitioner to get the idea about the corneal cylinder. So this is the uh, toric reference marker with a bubble. Uh, this is a special marker which has a spirit level kind of an air bubble inside to ensure that the reference marking is perfectly uh, ali well aligned. The reference marking is uh, done usually on the slit lamp with the patient in a seated position. And you can see here the marks have been placed using a marking pen and the air bubble has to be exactly in the middle of the two lines as seen here and with the bubble in the uh, center uh, here it is looking a little displaced because of parallax but with the bubble in the center the reference marks are put on the cornea with the patient sitting on the slit lamp and two dots are placed uh, so that uh, in the operation theater these reference marks are available and then we can reapply the reference marks and make them more prominent on the operation theater table. Now the Abbott Medical Optics also has come up with a website with the name of amoeasy.com which provides an, an AMO toric calculator. Uh, here the surgeon has to feed the patient's data like the keratometry, the steep axis, uh, the surgeon's surgically induced astigmatism etc. And the website calculates the model of IOL that needs to be implanted and gives uh, guidelines ag regarding the implantation of the toric IOL. This is a very easy to use and user friendly kind of a website which can be used by anybody and is available on the internet. Here uh, this is the same patient whose reference mark had been applied earlier on the slit lamp and on the operation theatre table the reference marker was put again uh, along the same marks and the axis is being marked. We must be very careful to make these axis marks as thin as possible otherwise thick marks can allow a bit of error and a few degrees uh, margin of error is possible with if the marks applied are very thick. So as you can see here these uh, axis marks are very thin. Now the side port incision is being made. The main incision is made along the steep axis and the standard phaco emulsification surgery steps are being performed. The uh, Continuous curvilinear capsular axis, followed by hydro delineation and hydro dissection. This was a very soft cataract and it was removed using the AMO signature FACO machine with ellipse FX handpiece. As you can see here, because of the cataract being very soft and the uh, excellent. Uh, uh, the cataract is being removed with an effective FACO time of 0. The biomanual irrigation aspiration is now being done to remove the cortical matter and to clean the capsular bag uh, very well. Now this is the uh, Technus Toric Aspheric IOL that was implanted. In this particular patient, the ZCT150 model was used. Uh, the patient's uh, IOL power was plus 21.5 uh, diopter with a 1.5 diopter cylindrical add uh, as per this IOL configuration. As you can see here, the IOL has uh, four marks to help in the alignment with the astigmatic axis. The IOL is placed in the injector. And using the emerald injector, the uh, technostoric single piece IOL is being implanted. Uh, the 
IOL is very well placed in the capsular bag. The viscoelastic is being removed from under the IOL. As for any toric IOL, the standard practice is to place the IOL a little along the uh, a little away from the astigmatic axis and once the viscoelastic has been completely removed from under the IOL, then the IOL is gently nudged into the perfect position according to the astigmatic axis and as you can see here these are the marks on the cornea and according to the dots they are very well aligned along the astigmatic axis the incision and the side port are then sealed uh, in the normal fashion and then as a standard practice we inject intracameral moxifloxacin into the anterior chamber so to summarize, uh, this was the first technostoric IOL implantation that we did at our Suvi Eye Institute, uh, Kota, Rajasthan in India. This was performed on the October 9th, 2012 in a 39-year-old patient. And post-operatively, the patient had a vision of 6-6 parts unaided. This was the first day post-op. And an N6 uh, near vision with a plus 2.5 diopter add for near. So uh, this is a new toric IOL which has now become available. It has uh, excellent saturation and stability and also uh, comes with the amoeasy.com uh, toric calculator website which is very user friendly and can be used to calculate the model of IOL that needs to be implanted. Thank you.